Hello and welcome back to our series on building a CBT application using Node.js, Express, React, and MongoDB and Flutter for the mobile application. So we are building a full stack application. We are using Node and Express for the back end. We are using MongoDB as the database. We are using React as the front end. And we are using Flutter to build the mobile application. Okay. So uh, previously we looked at the part one. And in the part one, we were able to create the folder and get our work started. So after part one, we looked at part two. And part two was about the database. That's what we did yesterday. So today we're gonna to be looking at part three. We're gonna be looking at part three. And this is part three. Part three is about uh, installing our .m and modeling our work to suit MVC, model view controller architecture. And we say that the model is the database that is gonna be connected to the backend, the view, for web is React and for mobile application is Flutter. And we're going to route in the routing in order to uh, adopt the right control. And that's what we're going to be doing. So, chapter three is what we are looking at. So, we're going to be starting with uh, installing .m, the model known as .m. Okay. So, um, we arrange these our courses. These are our lectures, part one, part two, and part three. So you can see here part three. So this is a this folder contains the whole project, all the codes, and like I said, uh, we're going to be putting it up, up on our website so that you can access it. Maybe we'll do that after the lecture. But I want you to follow us line by line so that you understand how these processes are done. Okay. So I'll quickly get back to my VS Code and uh, stop the the uh, stop the the server so that we can start by installing .m. But before that, there were some changes that was made to our work from where I stopped yesterday. So I want to bring you to pace on that. You remember yesterday that after the connection that I used this connection. Uh, code, the Mongo clan. And I had earlier told us that we're gonna be using Mongoose. So with Mongoose, we don't need all this code. This code is very long. So I want you to get back to your app.js from what you had yesterday, where you have this Mongo clan. Comment it out, because we are not gonna be using that code again. So scroll down. This is a simple line of code that you're gonna be using, using the Mongoose that we had earlier installed. We don't want to use Mongo client. We want to use the Mongo so that we can affect changes. So that when we create our .env file, we can easily uh, relate them easily. Okay. So just this is a simple line of code that you're going to replace your the initial one you have with. And like I said, I'm going to be putting it up on our website because that code is also here. This is it. Mongo.connect. Then the SRV, the connection string. So this connection string, you're gonna get it from your Atlas. So once you click on that connect, so you write, you click on connect your application, you see your connection string, that's what you paste here. So that's what I'm having here. So after that, I'm using an arrow function to console.log connected to T class YDB. So if I run NPM start, I'm gonna see this connected to T class YDB, showing that it has been connected. Uh, one more thing is that when you copy the string from your MongoDB Atlas or from your Atlas uh, MongoDB, which I taught yesterday, check out my yesterday class. When you copy it, make sure you check, you change where we had uh, username to your username. This is my username and password to this one so that it can be Mexican actual connection. Okay, also here that we have my first database, you're gonna be changing it to the real database name, which when we create the database or the model, I will also affect these things, okay? So take note of these uh, changes that I just made now. 
So once you're done, do your MPN start and see whether you can still see these are uh, connected to T plus DP. Okay. So that is important. And having done that, we can now continue. So we're going to be continuing with uh, part three. And you can see in the steps, what we need to do first is to do npm install.env. So I'm going to do that. But before that, I'm going to stop this server. And to stop this server, I simply press Control C to stop the server so that I can install the model known as .env that will going to help me uh, uh, put these uh, connection strings somewhere else so that people cannot be seen. When I push this code to GitHub, I don't want people to be able to see my username and password. So that's why we are using .env to take care of that, okay? So what I do first is MPN node packet manager, please help me and install dot env. Okay. I'm gonna wait a while for the dot m to install. I'm gonna wait a little while for the dot m to install. Then from there I can continue. Okay. So after installing the dot env, the next one will be to create the dot env file itself. So once I create the dot env file, I should be able to create a, a variable, say db connection. Then I'll pass the string that I copied from my MongoDB at last to it. So that way, I can now come down to my connection. And instead of having the normal string here, I'll just have a mongoose.connect process.m.db connection. And this will still get me connected the right way. So in that way, I've taken out the string. The string is no longer going to be here. It's going to be in my .m file, which I'm not going to push to GitHub or to any public repository so that other people don't see my username and password, okay? So I'm going to quickly wait for .m to finish installing then I can now move forward. Okay, if you have any questions or concerns, always drop them in the comment section. Whether you're watching us from YouTube or you're watching us from uh, Facebook, uh, at, at good times, I will always check through the comments and respond to them, okay? So we are building a full-fledged application that is gonna have Node.js and Express for the backend connected to a MongoDB database. We've already done the database yesterday. Uh, we're going to be using React to build the front end. Uh, we're going to be using Flutter to build the mobile app for this application. So sit back, enjoy this class. It's going to be very, very interesting because you're going to learn a whole lot of stuff at the same time. Okay, you can see that my installation is fully done. So the next thing I'm going to do now will be to take the next step and the next step will be to, as you see in my steps, to create the .m file. So I simply say touch.m, that should create that. So touch is the command you use to create a new file. So I say .env, touch.env. So that will create a .m file for me. Okay, if I wait a little, okay, you can see it here, it has created it .env, okay? I'm going to click here on that env file that I just created. So this is where I will now write my connection string. So I'm simply going to say uh, in capital letter db underscore and in capital letter connection. And I'm going to equate it to the string that I, I got from my MongoDB atlas. Okay. So that string, I've already put it here so that it becomes easier for me. So I'm gonna quickly pick it up. It's, I've already changed my this my username to T class and my password to the password I generated while working on the Atlas. Okay. So I'm gonna pick this up here. This you're supposed to pick from your MongoDB Atlas, but because I already have it here, I pick it from here. So I'll paste it there and say Ctrl S in order to see it. So you can see now my connection is now here, which is where it is supposed to be. So my connection is now here. So how will it 
how will the app.js, how will it see this connection? Since they are not on the same file, how will it see? So I'm gonna quickly get to my app.js. So how will this see it? In order for you to see it, I need to bring in the .mv that I've installed. I need to bring it up here. So to bring it up, how do I bring it up? So it's very simple to bring it up. I simply need to say const, or I simply need to say require.mconfig slash config. So this brings it in. You don't need to uh, declare it as a variable. So this brings in the .m. So once you bring this in like this, it will be able to see a file like .env file that is not here. So this does it for you. I'm going to say Control S to save. But now it's seeing this file, but is it seeing the connection? That's the next thing. So I'm going to make sure that it sees the connection. So how do I go about making sure that it sees the connection? So I'm going to come down here. So instead of having what I had before, or simply I can just copy this process.m dot db connection so i copy it then i replace the whole of the string that i had before since i'm already pointing to it so i use it and replace this okay so with that we can you can see what i just did now so i'm now having instead of that long string i'm having process dot emb DB connect. So this is coming from this virtual environment. Okay. So that is what we have now. So this is similar to what I have here. So process.env.db connection. Then I have the new URL parser that takes care of the error. Then I'm consoling.log connected to DB or connected to T classified DB. Okay, we are back. Like I said, my light went off, so uh, we are finally back, but I've not gone to on the chain. I just connected my phone in time. Okay, so you can see now, I just did NPN start and I'm still seeing connected to T Cloud DB. That means this is still working. Okay. Uh, so we'll finish one phase. Uh, the next phase now will be to create is the folder structures that will enable us to use the MVC uh, architecture like we said. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new folder known as route. And I'm going to seed into route and create a new file known as questions that is going to have our questions, OK? So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stop this server by saying Control C first, OK? So once that is done, I'm going to create the folder by saying mkdir, make the, make the directory, make the folder, and call this folder routes. OK. So I'm going to have folder routes. You can see the folder here now. It's created routes. So I'm going to have another folder known as models that is going to have my databases. Uh, say make the ir models okay so those are the two folders that i just created and we're going to have more like control okay 
let me say control module view controller we're going to have other folders but let's keep it at these two first okay so i'm going to see the into these routes because i want to take all the routes out of these my app.js i don't want these routes to be in my app.js this my app.get app.get all these routes they're going to be in another uh folder in the folder routes and inside that folder they are going to be inside questions okay so i'm going to say uh cd on to cd into routes because that's where i need to be okay so i'm now in routes so inside this route i'm going to create i'm going to say touch questions so questions is, the, is going to be the name of the uh, question.js okay so you can see this is my routes folder if i click inside i'm going to see questions.js so inside this question.js that's where i'm going to have all my routes in because i don't want them to be in the app.js okay so now inside the question.js I'm gonna have this new code there, which I'm gonna explain to you. Let me pick it up. I don't know to take much of your time. Okay. So these are the questions with various endpoints. And lastly, in my app.js is gonna change a little bit now because I'm no longer having those routes. It's going to remain just this. Okay. So this is what I now have in my app.js. So this, what I'm having in my app.js is just simply that I'm taking out all these routes out of get and I'm replacing it with a connection to the questions in the routes. So I'm going to say control A to this. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to get to save this is my question dot js in my app dot js i'm gonna say control a i'm gonna say control b okay so my app dot js is now smaller because i'm just having a reference to the questions in the route folder just that so i'm still having my normal uh express mongoose and uh, the dot m configuration so this routes question this question routes i i brought it in from the folder routes so that i can have this constant question routes which i also connected here using app.use uh, and i can also have another route say user because we, have, we want to create a cbt software so there are going to be questions and those questions are going to be used by a user that has logged in. Okay. So that's what we are having now. And this is still the connection we had before. You remember that we have this connected to our dot env already. Okay. So our latest files now, this is what we have for our app.js. And this is what we have as our question.js inside our routes folder. Okay. So we're going to continue from here. So we've been able to structure this file. So in order for me to go on my gen, so that you can be seeing my faces as I'm explaining, and my face as I'm explaining, uh, we're gonna continue from part four, which is models. So we're gonna go to this models folder and create the question model. Model is the database schema that's gonna help us with the data connecting and filling in of the data into our MongoDB at last. So that's gonna be uh, chapter four. So please get yourself to what we have already and uh, we can continue tomorrow. So you can, after this, I think I can now do, uh, I can still do NPM starts. I don't know whether it's gonna break somewhere, NPM start. If it does break then, when we resume next, we'll take care of it before going to, okay? Yeah, it broke somewhere. Uh, model not found okay so we're gonna take care of this in the next class uh, please just get yourself to where we are now and see you when i see you thank you god bless